So you got a white cat here on the scene who don't understand anything about it. He's Jamil here, right? I should say you said. I shouldn't be over here. Hold up. What? Excuse me? What did you say? You said I shouldn't be over here? Why is that? If you go back rewind, 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 rewind. What did he say? So you got a white cat here on the scene who don't understand anything about it. Right? Last night, a St. Paul police officer found himself on the other side of the law, accused of beating his wife. Why would a police department keep a bad cop or hire a bad cop after being accused of breaking his wife's face and breaking some of her ribs? Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Always record the police. This video comes to you by way of Capital Transparency. He does an outstanding job on this video. I'm going to drop his original link in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you go subscribe and say hello. Let's get right to the video, folks. You're a young GI here, why would you give the phone up? Huh? She why would you when she talk when she get on talk and go on and talk after that? She a lady, let her have it first. Then you get it later, man. It, it ain't a big deal. You got you got here's the only thing. Why do y'all wanna why do you wanna lie and say we hold somebody else? I ain't, don't lie on us and say we hold somebody else. I say you. He he gonna go inform everybody, cause just like he informed whatever, he do whatever, he give he giving information, both sides. Don't don't be fooled. So here's my thing. I asked when I go in there. Oh, no, I, 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 I said no. That's fine. He said no. I'm going to phrase it. Okay, he said no. Okay, he said no. Why right do right. right. Well, you cannot go. You don't physically live in there. I got one It's not a big deal. When it's all said and done, you'll know. Now, here's my other thing, young know, girl. If you really try to, if you really for something about your family, you keep it real. And I'm my family. I can make a phone call to find out who's in my life. So don't waste my time, play games with OG who experienced the good with I'm the stuff. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not, but I'm saying. What this cop has a history of violence and he's behaving in a disgraceful way. You're going to see him being racist, condescending, and aggressive. This cop is a huge liability to the city, waiting for a lawsuit to happen. All right. I'm not, look. I get it. Take did notes. I, did, I, did I not come up and show respect just like, just like he did? Like, he did. Man, my partner ain't. You can say right now, you can't, you can't go up there. Not white. You can't say that, man, because we all get along. You know what I'm saying? I, I can, I can put it for a little bit of everything. I don't care if you're white, black, whatever. It doesn't you matter. More than I'm not. No, you can't. I can't I can even take, he talking to me. Come on, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you want it. You, so you got a white cat here on the scene who don't understand anything about it. He's Jamil over here, right? I can take you saying. I, can take you saying, you saying you I shouldn't be over here. Hold up. What? Excuse me? What did you say? You say I shouldn't be over here? Did Why I is that? that? If you go, oh, go back, you re rewind, 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 rewind. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a white cat here on the scene who don't understand anything about it. He's Jamil over here, right? I can take you saying. I shouldn't be over here. Hold up. What? Excuse me? What did you say? You say I shouldn't be over here? Did Why I is that? that? If you go, oh, go back, back to re rewind, 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 rewind. What did he say? say? Rewind your camera. You said I shouldn't be over here. Rewind What's that camera. mean? Rewind your camera. If you're going to lie. I didn't lie. I'm speaking straight. your words. Did I say that? Hey. Did I, hold on a second. I'm going to prove a point. On camera. camera. Did, did, but did I say that? I don't think you said that. I know you know I didn't. Don't say no fake. When you take it, now I can say it wrong. What did you say? I ain't catching it, bro. What I'm saying is. No, no. Your partner here want to lie on me. He won't even rewind his camera. It's live. It's live, my friend. You're live. 
I'm live. L I V E. What did you say then? Well, correct me. What did you say? I didn't. I didn't lie. Maybe I heard. When, when somebody says, "Excuse me," but if you're gonna lie on a live camera, tell the truth. What, what did you say then? What did you say then? So now, all right. So I don't like liars, man. You lie on me. That's wrong. Yeah, okay, I will re I will re the film. But what I'm telling you, I'll even rewind your film. Right now, we have a job to do, right? And what I did is gave you the most correct look. That ain't got nothing, because I'm going to respect you as a man, period, right? So my, my, as my job, I'm talking to you. If that's my family, and they're inside, and I'm worried about it, what did I say to you? I did. I, I, so. Did I not say that? So what did you say? You can't say no. Listen, listen, I've never said anything listen, listen, incorrect. Cops explaining. Cops explaining. You lost me. Gang smarter. We trust you. Yeah, so I, I did, and I made sure everything was straight. They knew, they, they copacetic, understand everything, whatever. Now you said that's your family, right? And what did I tell you? I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let all your sisters, your friends, your sisters. I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let anything happen to your family. I know you ain't. That's why I trust you more than they ain't. I don't know that. All right. So, what'd you say then? When I said excuse me, that usually means what did you say in my, in my experience? You were lying, man. Oh, what did I lie on, my friend? You were lying. What did you say? What did you say? Correct yourself. Come correct. Seems like you're the liar. You can't explain what you said? Seems like you're the liar. That cop was bored. Go get his business car for a nice reminder. Can I get your business car? Some people have integrity. Last night, investigators say that wife walked a mile to the Maplewood police station after a fight with Reinhardt. Chief Dave Tamala was there and saw something was wrong. She had, you know, some bleeding from the nose and, and some swelling in her face. Um, obviously had been assaulted. She told him she'd been hurt by her husband, a St. Paul canine cop. Maplewood officers took her to the hospital. While she was being checked out, the chief here in Maplewood called the chief over in St. Paul, who then called Reinhardt's commander. Well, the commander talked with Reinhardt, and within the hour, Reinhardt was here at the Maplewood Police Department to turn himself in. making the arrest, but last night a St. Paul police officer found himself on the other side of the law, accused of beating his wife. Fox 9's Leah Bino is live in Maplewood to tell us what happened there. Leah? Yes, police learned something was wrong when a woman showed up with injuries to her face here at the Maplewood City Hall. They took her to the hospital. A short time later, her husband, a St. Paul police officer, showed up to turn himself in. 
I was at the meeting and I saw her walk in. Maplewood Police Chief David Tomla was at last night's city council meeting around 10 when a woman walked in. Nosebleed, uh, facial swelling. Clearly, she needed help. She obviously had injuries to her face and she said her ribs were sore too. The woman told police her husband, Officer Isaac Reinhardt of the St. Paul Police Department, had beat her up. She said that her husband had struck her. Um, with his hands and fists. Officer Reinhardt later turned himself in, was booked, and spent the night at the Ramsey County Jail accused of domestic assault. Officer Reinhardt has been um, reassigned uh, to an administrative or desk post uh, pending the outcome of the legal process. Sergeant Paul Schnell says Officer Reinhardt was sworn into the St. Paul Police Department in 1994 and assigned to various units. He's been in the K-9 unit since 2007. According to Officer Reinhardt's public personnel profile, the department has taken disciplinary action against him three times, but his list of accommodations is much longer. We've never had any problems with him, and he seems like a nice enough guy, but you know, you just never know. Neighbors tell us Officer Reinhardt lives at this Maplewood home separate from his wife. Chief Tomla says this is where the alleged abuse happened. She was the victim of a, a beating, and uh, she had walked a half mile to get to the building here. Both police departments say they take domestic violence seriously, and this goes to show how widespread the problem has become. Suspects in domestic assaults span every occupation you can think of. In this particular case, it was a police officer. I mean, does it really take a criminal to catch a criminal? Is this where we are in policing in America today? Go ahead and let cops do what they want to do. I posted a video that went super viral on my main channel where I caught a cop smoking a cigarette on duty. I asked him if he's supposed to be smoking on duty. He said no. I asked him to put it out, so he did, but he threw it on the ground. And I asked him to pick it up, 
He told me he was going to pick it up when I turned the camera off. And I said, that makes absolutely no sense. That short right now has 6 million views on my channel. And I get a whole bunch of little Karens talking about just let the man smoke. One of my replies to that comment is, I will if he applies to be a cop in Russia. Because if I'm not mistaken, I've seen plenty of videos of Russian cops smoking on duty. It is against police policy to smoke on duty in public while in uniform. If you guys would like to go over to that comment section of that short and let some of these little Karens have it, you guys can go over there and create some change and help change some of the minds of these little gamers, these little bootlickers, the little Karens who don't understand the concept of policing the police. If we allow them to do crap like that, then we might as well allow them to do crap like this. This cop got away with beating up his girl. I'm guessing it was because intimidation. And this, my friends, is what we're paying for as taxpayers. Why are we even paying taxes if we're just hiring criminals to catch criminals? Police do not hold themselves accountable. That's why channels like Capital Transparency are important. You guys, go subscribe to his channel. Let him know that I sent you. He did an outstanding job on this video. I will drop his original link in the description and in the pinned comment. I'll see you guys over there. Have yourselves a blessed day.